Okay, well let's go ahead and see what an acid attack might look like. Here we're going to simulate it with the red dish is going to be uh, a mouth. We need a tooth for the mouth. We also have saliva in the mouth, so let's go ahead and we're going to just put the saliva, it's not really saliva, I promise. We're going to put the, the saliva in the mouth so it's covering the tooth. And as you can see, there's nothing really happening. It's just sitting there. Saliva's our friend. Like, I, like we had mentioned, uh, the more saliva you have, the better. Um, it neutralizes those acids. We also have bacteria in our mouth. As you can see here, lots of bacteria. Um, latest count says we have 1,000 different types of bacteria in our mouth at any given time. Um, fortunately, only a couple of those can cause cavities. So let's go ahead and sprinkle some germs in the mouth. So here we have what you might see on any given day inside your own mouth. Again, you can see there's nothing really happening. The bugs are living there, but they're not causing any problems. So we have our mouth, our tooth, the saliva, and all the bacteria living in the mouth, and everything is fine. The problem occurs when we feed those bacteria. Just like us, bacteria need to have food in order to, in order to survive. Um, their favorite foods are simple carbohydrates. That's sugar, but also it can be white flour, processed, processed flours. Those are things that are easy for the bugs to eat and digest. So let's go ahead and give our mouth a spoonful of sugar. So we've now had eating our snack. The bacteria is also eating the, eating the food. You can see it's processing it and it excretes it as an acid. That acid is what's eating away at our enamel. It also will last 20 to 40 minutes. So we have the acid attack starting. But when we're snacking, a lot of times we're also drinking. If we drink a sugary drink, let's just give it a sip. And what happens? That acid attack starts again. And each time we take a sip, that 20 minutes, that 20 to 40 minute acid attack starts over again. So if you're sipping at a drink all day long, if you've put juice in a sippy cup for a child, Every time they sip, we have the acid attack. When you look over here at the chart, you can see if you eat simple carbohydrates three times a day, you'll have three 20 to 40 minute acid attacks. The time when there is no acid, the, the saliva is neutralizing, it's not only neutralized the acids, but it now has the opportunity to remineralize and repair the teeth. But is that how most of us eat? Not really. We tend to be snackers, we're grazers, and we'll sip or we'll snack on simple carbohydrates all day long. So you can see that you have one acid attack after another. You can easily see how you can cause some irreparable damage to the teeth over the course of the day, and there's no chance for the saliva to help remineralize.